Hello, my name is Fatima Pelayo, and I am currently doing my practicum at WTLC, which is the Women's Transitional Living Center. And it is a place that focuses on people recovering and going through uh, domestic violence or also those who cause harm in situations of domestic violence. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the different competences and how I think I'm doing in them at the moment. So for competency number one, demonstrate ethical and professional behavior. I would rate myself as proficient. I'm doing well in maintaining professional boundaries while helping my clients to the best of my ability. And when necessary, I review the NSW code of ethics in order to make sure that I'm following the um, code uh, at all times. For competency number two, engage diversity and difference in practice. I would rate myself as proficient. I'm doing well and working with a variety of ages, races, genders, and people with different cultural backgrounds. I work to learn more about cultures in which I am not proficient at the moment in order to become as culturally aware as possible in my practice. For competency number three, advanced human rights and social, economic, and environmental justice, I would rate myself as emerging. I've been working with my supervisor and colleagues in order to help the community to the best of our ability when it comes to those dealing with domestic violence. For competency number four, engage in practice informed research and research informed practice, I would rate myself as emergent, emerging through the practice evaluation course and being able to practice studies on my own clients. I have been able to work on practice informed research. As for research informed practice, I continue to read studies and research in order to apply the things that are being shown in the results um, when working with clients in my sessions. For competency number five, engage in policy practice. I would rate myself as emerging. I have learned about policy over the years and different courses through my undergrad as well as graduate classes. And I'm now getting the opportunity to practice applying those policies to my practice. For competency number six, engage with individuals, families, groups, organizations, and communities. I would rate myself as provision. I've had the opportunity to work with people of different backgrounds and different communities, not only in this practicum, but in my last practicum as well as previous jobs and employment that I have had. So I am going to continue to work with as much diversity as possible in my practice. For competency number seven, assess individual families, groups, organizations, and communities. I would rate myself as proficient. I work with clients and is, um with a series of questionnaires and surveys in order to help build a biopsychosocial for each of them. Some of these include the ACEs that looks at adverse childhood experiences, PHQ-9, which looks at a depression scale, the GAD-7, which is an anxiety scale, and the trauma symptoms checklist, among others. Competency number eight, intervene with individuals, families, groups, organizations, and communities. I would rate myself as emerging. I've had the opportunity to use different interventions in order to help individuals with a variety of problems they have identified. And lastly, competency number nine, evaluate practice with individuals, families, groups, organizations, and communities. I would rate myself as emerging. I'm learning on a daily basis how to evaluate the clients at my practicum through guidance from my courses, peers, and supervisors. As I have been working in practicum and I'm going into the third session, out of four sessions, I have seen myself grow and hope to continue to grow um, from now to the time that we finish all of our practicum hours, which will be in December. Thank you.